so many different variables that would determine this obviously like the amount of time you have uh what type of videos you're putting out uh and, and you know like what type of uh content uh you're actually creating in terms of quality and production and everything the point here that i would love to drive home is be consistent whatever it is that you decide to do be very cons consistent right one per week for a whole year is going to be better than 50 in one month and then you, you you drop the ball for the rest of the year right people love that consistency in fact somebody just brought up to me the other day about like when you think of your favorite shows on tv which i don't know how many people on here actually watch tv like traditional tv but remember back in the day when there was a tv show that would come on at a certain time right and it always came on so you always were ready for that show what would happen if that show stopped or what if like they aired something totally different you i mean i remember there would be these specials that come on and i'd be kind of angry i'd be like oh my gosh my favorite show is not on i had no idea so like it's the same on youtube right now people obviously can go and watch your content whenever they want it's not on a set schedule but like that consistency is important for that relationship it's like a friendship right you, you always want to show up to somebody's uh event you always want to be there for them you always want to talk to them right and the more consistent you are about that the better that relationship gets the better that trust that you build in that viewer right to create those opportunities long term so all this like circles back to trust right um but yeah consistency and like what does that repetition look like I'd say this, if you want to be a serious YouTuber, I would commit to at least once a week, at least. Now my wife and I, my wife, she's an amazing superstar. She does a video every single day. That's what sets daily vloggers apart from everybody else because it is not easy. On her delivery bed, when she delivered twins, she was editing a video. I offered, I offered to edit, but she was like, no, I got to uh, stay committed. I got to put it up. Even with me offering, like she is the one that does all the editing. She put it up. Viewers love that. Now, do you have to do that as a business person? Like even if you become a YouTuber or blogger? Absolutely not. But the point being that you're so committed to that schedule, whether it's once a week, right? Or once every few days that you, you create this like, um, this consistency that people are aware of so they continuously come back to YouTube another thing too, like don't assume people just go to YouTube like they watch TV right if you create that schedule that's consistent they're gonna remember even if it's not the day they're like oh yeah Benji uploaded that video on Monday you know like uh, let me go check it out because I always know he uploads something really important like I said it's gonna uh, the variables are gonna depend on your own life um, that determines what that schedule is but once a week at least and you know like I you know if you're really really serious I would challenge yourself to do at least two a week